Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry about uh, the issues we're having before and maybe still are having. Who knows? Who knows? I've still got Ryan Betzel with me who's been uh, patient enough to stick around. He um, uh, was he's recommended I reset my router. I'm like, yeah, like I, I had my laptop up in my hands, like ready to throw at the wall. He's like, hey, dude, maybe you should reset your router. I'm like, ah, I'll do that. So um, please, if you are in the chat, let us know. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Is it good now? <laughs> okay, thank you guys for sticking around. Reptile Matty, Aaron Edwards, and Osmodo, man. Um, not sure whether you uh, heard me give you the call out before. Apparently audio was working, which was weird. But um, Mr. Ryan, let's start again, shall we? <laughs> yeah, we'll pick it back up from the start. So you still sound a bit robotronic on my end, but... Uh, I think we can work with it. It will get better. Just give it time. My left. Laptop... It'll drift in and out. I, I I can string the rest of the sentence together. It's a skill. Ah yes. So yeah, just give it time. My um, because usually like what I like to do with these streams is get probably about 15, 20 minutes in, on the Skype call for it to settle the f down, because my laptop is just like you know, fans blurring freaking. and freaking out. It's just like, hey man, look. Dude, I was all like chill, and you're like, "Hey, let's like, I don't know, do stuff, man." And I'm just like, "Come on, bro!" Like, I don't want to do stuff, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So, um, how's your night been? How was uh it, your time off? Yeah, my time off's been pretty good so far. I've not done a whole lot, so I kind of went off. Uh, got off work on the Tuesday before Christmas. I've been off just uh, just over a week. Uh, just under a week. Um, it's been really good. It's been really, really chill. Been uh, hanging out with a kid a lot. Like today is the example. You, you'd think I, he has abandonment issues. Like he has just been on me all day, like on my lap, on my arm, everywhere. Just kind of like has to be near me, which has been, which has been fun. Mm. Um, yeah, and I've just been hanging out and Christmas itself was pretty chill. You know, sort of, hang, you know, went to the in-laws, uh, hung around the house. Mm. What about you? Pa uh, Sounds like you had a pretty good time from the from the vlog, uh, the vlogies. The vlogies, the vlogies are good. It's just like the phalanges. Um, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> it yeah, it, uh, you know, Christmas at my house, you know, lunch and that kind of uh, uh, kit, you know, like had the my mum around and uh, Angie's dad, that's my step, no, my father-in-law. There you go, that's the one. Uh, just opening presents and really like, I mean, Christmas is all about the kids, isn't it? You know, just like. All about the kids at this point. They just go nuts. And um, today, actually, I um, met up with uh, the the king moderator himself, um, Shane Beasley. Went over to oh bees. Yeah, went over to Bezos' house and uh, had a bit of a uh, a chill, like not chill. So she he put some uh, pork on the spit roast. But he said he said to me, Ash, mm -hmm. mate, come around to my place for a spit roast. I'm just like, yeah, awesome. I'm in. I get there and he has like meat on an actual spit roast. And I was thinking. Yeah, get there for a and he didn't reason. try to fuck you. <laughs> where, where are the two guys? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Where's the third person, BZ? <laughs> anyway, so um, I left his place and uh, he gave me this, and you can't see it because I'm holding it up to the screen on the the thing. But it's uh, I'll have a look at that. I'll, I'll have a look at yeah. that, and I'll be able to see it in a couple of seconds. X fifty. Oh, the X fifty. Yeah. He gave me the 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 lemon lime, which he doesn't really like, but he gave me a whole bunch of different flavors as well. Uh, and I got like a um, a man shaker here. I'm about to commit, um, you know, what is it? Brand suicide. Um, a man shaker here in front of me, and I got a bunch of flavors. So for all those X50 lovers out there, which one shall I try? I got the apple berry. I got the cranberry. Uh, I've got uh, grape, uh, passion fruit, lemon lime, and I think there's another one, raspberry or something. Have you tried them? I hear the appleberry is pretty pretty. I've had the appleberry and it was all right. Appleberry. Mm. Oh, thanks. All right. Yeah. Appleberry. The passion is. fruit one's got me all excited though. I know, eh? Hey, the passion fruit sounds good, but I'm going to go the appleberry. Give that a go. Um, I've never tried them before. Like, cause, uh, like, as you know, I'm heavy on the kombuchas, but the kombuchas, man, they're, they're like six or six to eight bucks for four. And like, that will only last me like two days. And that's a lot, <laughs> like, that's a lot of bloody you know money to spend on drinks like butcher but um yeah if i can find a nice substitute and yeah i mean he gave it to me so yeah and like i know i i know like obviously the jerd man uh spruiks the the x video as best he can and and uh everyone gives that gives a bit of a rub which is nice the best he can he's like one step away from snorting it off his off a toilet seat i reckon 
<laughs> that's a that's a cocaine joke. Uh, Forty says he's never tried any of them. To be honest, like so, I bought some of the uh, broccoli chips from them a while ago, and it came with like a little sampler of a couple of the uh, of the coffee, which was really nice. Um, the a couple of the sachets of the of the tea, which I had. I think I had the appleberry, and it was all right. It was not quite what I expected. It was It certainly wasn't. It's, I expect it to be a little bit sweeter. It makes, makes sense though because it's designed to not be sweet. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a big iced tea person normally because yeah, I found they were never really sweet enough for me. Mm. Um, but we'll get it might, might be a bit different for you. Well, I went I went with the Bear, the, the two sachets because Bezo said go with the two if you're doing a big shaker. So I'm doing two. Hmm, mm, that's nice. The apple berry is good. I like it. Uh, and only, only seven calories. X50. <laughs> oh, jeez. Reptile Maddie's in the house. How are you doing? Um, I'll be getting some hopefully next week. Uh, I don't know what flavor yet. Well, the apple berry is good. <laughs> but I have no frame of reference in the other flavors. So, uh, Ryan, you're going to ask me a question. What were you going to ask me? How, yeah, how was, yeah, so the Christmas was good. Did, uh, yeah, did Santa treat you well? Yeah, I got um, actually um, some EB vouchers, which is uh, great, um, uh, that I'm going to be using towards a Xbox Series X once it come, once they get some in stock. Who knows when that is? Um, about, Mar- about March. About March, yeah. So um, so I've been uh, accumulating like you know um, EB vouchers and Westfield vouchers just to kind of have like on the ready. Uh, and... Um, I was actually really lucky enough. Um, Reptile Matty, the bloke who's here right now, he sent me the other night a um, $50 EB voucher to use towards this, uh, my new RGB keyboard. Um, so I can actually see what I'm typing uh, through the um, through the microphone that's in front of me. Um, and yeah, it's the first RGB, oh, focus, enhance. Uh, it's the first RGB, well, anyway. It's the first RGB keyboard I've had on your suggestion, Ryan. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm a big fan of the Logitech G, uh, G512 Carbon. It's the one that I had uh, before I got this one. So I had been, I had a slight manufacturing problem with mine where one of the LEDs went out, but it was still in warranty. So I reached out to him. I was like, hey, what uh, what the fuck? One of the thing, how do I replace it? Because like, how do I replace it? I just want to replace the one light. Like, oh, we don't offer that. We'll have to get you a brand new one. Uh. But we don't, have any of the, we don't have any of the one that you... We don't have any of the 512s left. I'm like, oh, okay. That's fine. I'll wait. Like, I don't know. We'll just send you the next one up. Oh, wow. And that's the... Uh, so that, what's that one? Uh, this is the Logitech uh, G815. Ah, oh, cool. So what's the difference? Uh, it has uh, the media buttons on the thing. So a little volume do, do, doodad. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same. It's, it's very similar build quality. It just has a couple extra functionalities in it. Uh, um, but I'm, I'm a big suck for these ones specifically because they are... Oh, and it's also the low-profile keys where yours are a bit thicker. Um, yeah, so like what I love about them is they they're not the non-clicky kind. Mm. So they they still have the tactile feedback of a of a mechanical keyboard without that big obnoxious like like loading a gun like yeah yeah no I mean that's the first thing I noticed like the they, the box was heavy like I'm like are you sure it's just a keyboard in here because man it's heavy um, yeah big big um, alloy. Mm. Uh, Logitech Raptor Motor says Logitech is good. I have the wireless G six one three. See, I got and I have the G seven zero three mouse to to go with it. Well, um, yeah, Mister Ryan, I have you to thank you for putting me onto the Boxing Day special. I didn't even think to look at that because uh, it's like a two hundred dollar keyboard that I got for a hundred bucks, and I'm cheering with that. Mm. Um, Aaron Edwards says, um, have either of you tried Core Power Foods? I got uh, onto them a few months back and they're the best food purchase I've ever made. No, I've never heard of them. Yeah, I've tried one of them. Um, and they're, what are they? They're, they're like, okay, they're like bodybuilder food. So they're like these uh. little like um, like tubs that you get that have like just the basic like broccoli uh, brown rice and like lean chicken. Oh yeah, I'm having a look at, okay. Yeah, uh, but they do have some other flavors and do other stuff like that. But like, they're, they're for blo- like people that are really focused on gaining muscle mass and such like. And yeah. they can be used for weight loss. But I've done my, like and before like Core Power Foods was around, there was a um a group called um 
Mus muscle Meals. Not my Muscle Chef, but it was called Muscle Meals. And Muscle Meals, they had, um, you know, that, that kind of food, the brown rice uh, uh, with a like, very basic Napoli sauce. And then you got like the, the lean chicken, broccoli and all that. Uh, and I did that for quite some time. And I just ended up hating it. I fell off the wagon completely. Um, and I was just like, nah, diet's over. This is just bullshit. <laughs> I've had enough of it. So, um, yeah, that was that. Um, hey, oh, Simon Bloomfeld, uh, two months in, 15 kilos down. She is manshake. Wow. Yeah, congratulations, brother. Simon, how are you feeling after losing 15 kilos? And how much more do you want to lose? It's amazing how quickly your mentality changes when you start the manshake or start any health routine, really. Mm, big time. Mm, good, in, good, good input. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but it's one of those things because, like, it, I, without repeating myself, because I've said it before, it's like it is that that uh, you know using buzzwords. It's that synergy between your mental health and your physical health. You know, when your physical health is better, your mental health feels better. When your mental health feels better, you're super stoked to get your physical health better. You know what I mean? So it's this ever, ever, ever repeating cycle of awesome. Mm. And then, yeah, as you as you continue to to go on your journey, you're just fucking motivated and it's awesome that is awesome um and I, I said it before i said it again uh in my description below um there is an email there feel free to shoot me through an email with some comparison pictures or your story or let us know how you're going uh i want to give a call out to um the sayers um recently um she's um lost um more, more or less known as Yankin Oz uh, on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, she's just cracked under 100 kilos. That was one of her goals. So congratulations. That's yeah, she sent me that email. I think it was yesterday. I haven't gone back. I was just flat out today. Um, Delicate Stone's in the house as well. And Shane Beasley. I was just um, I was actually just giving you a shout out, Shane, for the X50. I've got uh, the apple and um, berry here. And I've double dosed it like you recommended. And it's good. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, so who knows? We might have a kombucha um, challenger. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. So who's back at work tomorrow? Because I, I keep forgetting that today's a Sunday. I'm like so on mm. annual leave. Like I have no idea what day it is. I don't care what time of the day it is anymore. Oh, it's amazing. Um, it's good feels. I've been, yeah, I've been living that for a couple of days now. It feels nice. Aaron Edwards, on the subject of emails, I thought I mentioned uh, your email just in case I got lost and drunk again. Oh, don't tell me. I did get a, um, I'm pretty sure I did get an email from you. Because um, I've gotten a few emails the last couple of days um, uh, from um, Osmoto Man. And I gave a huge, uh, huge shout out to Aaron Edwards and um, Osmoto Man. I think it was in yesterday's video. Hey. They just went crazy with super chats, especially Osmoto man. Um, so thank you so much once again and for becoming channel. Members. Yeah, that was gnarly. Like I, cause I ducked out just before because I had to go do, go do my fam things, and then I get messages from you in the group chat. I'm like, hot oh, damn. Yeah, no, I never seen it before. Like, I literally like after like Ar Ar Osmoto man and Aaron Edwards and everyone else. Um, Peter G. Um, who else was it? Um, Rugved. Like I had to take like a few moments and Gato eighty nine. 86 i had to stop and just go what the hell just happened i called angela in the room like take a look at this and she goes what what happened i'm like what happened <laughs> like yeah he just um went crazy so i was motor man 150 buck um super chat so thank you wow. so much yeah um spirit of christmas <laughs> christmas um yeah aaron i got your email and i replied back to you and um uh mr ryan and i oh ryan this is um aaron edwards 89 wants to have a chat to us about um, his uh, him potentially starting a new YouTube channel, um, mainly because uh, he's gone through some. Um, he, he was the bloke I read the email for the with other B night with BPD. Yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So um, yes, yeah, it's something we need to uh, look at too. But um, yeah, man, look, uh, if, if he's in the chat now, isn't he? Yeah, dude, re reach out whenever, man. I've been doing YouTube for the better part of six years now. Um, I different space to what what Ash does here. Um, I'm in uh, games, press, enthusiast press, content creation, that sort, that area, uh, sort of. So I've been, we're in kind of different spaces, but um, I'm happy to, if you want to pick my brain. Yeah, yeah. Like Ryan is really good at what he does. Like he's super professional. Like he 
if you listen to him talk and then you listen to me talk, you see a real difference because he's actually talented. Whereas you hear me, um, uh, duh. I swear uh, a lot though. That's the only problem that I have. Oh, is that the only problem you have, Mr. Perfect? No, but in terms of in terms of delivery, like when I sit and when I speak and when I present, like uh, yeah, the, the the biggest hurdle that I have is I swear a lot. So when I get super casual and when I'm in um in like my content zone, I'm just like f this, f that, whatever, whatever. But um yeah, because my background when I first started in content was uh, radio. So I used to be the late shift on a Thursday night for a local community radio station here in Geelong, and that's sort of where I got all my or my chops before I got into actual video stuff. So it was a situation of like, yeah, you learn how, you learn how to speak on radio because you're defined by time. There's a bunch of guidelines you have to maintain and it's really easy to sort of get in that motion. And once you're in there and you know, and you sort of learn the, some of the basics, like when you are presenting, you, you don't, speak as if you normally would in conversation you like you pump you bring it up a little bit give it a little bit more oomph uh you know you sort of add a bit more energy to it because a lot of energy can be lost in that between you and the camera space and how that's received because like one of the biggest hurdles you'll find and you, you, you'll even see it in ash as ash has progressed over um progressed over uh, uh his his content journey is like you'll notice how he presents better now because he's got that practice and it's like hey everyone you know like you bring it up where you first started because you're still nervous you're like mm. hey man it's ash <laughs> yeah um I'm, I'm a bit of a fat fat shit and... <laughs> oh whoa wow um mr ryan betson what's happened there um oh ryan i think we're uh our skype is freaking out man Jeez, what's happened there? Hold up, Ryan. Is this my internet? Or I don't think this is my internet, ladies and gentlemen. If it's just me, can you just say it's just Ash? Or can you say if Ryan's just dropped out? I think it's just maybe Ryan's freaking out a little bit. But um, I'm just going to keep talking as if the stream is still going because it looks like it's still going on my end. Um, on the subject of email, yet yeah, not gone through that one. Um, Oz Motor Man sitting and currently uh, working. Thank you so much for watching me while you work. A uh, few, few people are back on Tuesday. I think I can hear Ryan back again. Ryan? Nope. Nope. I can hear him in my ear, but um, a little bit. Just be a second there while he's sorting stuff Hello. out. Hello there, Ryan. We can hear you now. Ryan. Hmm. Yeah, you're coming in now, dude. Um, I, it, it, I don't know what's going on. So, so. Hmm. People seem to think that my stream is okay, but um, it's just you. Weird. There we go. Very weird. Okay, okay. I think I got you back now. But anyway, um, Aaron Edwards asks, how did... Um, Yes, jumping on his end. That's what I can see here. But um, how did you both connect? We're back now. I don't know what's going on. But you're back. Yeah, let's just keep going. Mm. Uh, so Aaron Edwards, he asked, uh, how do we both connect out of curiosity? So um, Ryan was actually on my channel as a, a subscriber, and he was commenting on a few of my videos uh, here and there. Uh, I originally uh, mispronounced his name. I think I was saying um, um, Beatson as in like, you know, like uh, the beat. And um, he goes, no, 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 no. This is like one of the first few attractions he goes. Because I said, I said, I gave him a call. I was like, oh, thank you, Ryan Beatson for the the comment. And then he goes, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's as if you're putting on a bet, son. It's, you know, got to put a bet on, son. And uh, I was like, ah, Betson. And then uh, I saw him a bit on the Manshake Men page at the time. Uh, and I heard a little bit about his journey and what he does and, as a person and all that. And I was like, hey, man, you want to do a, a fat chat with me? And uh, then we got on uh, one on one, mono y mono, and um, had a bit of a chat. And it, it took me probably all of like five minutes to go, hey, I really like this guy. <laughs> He's like, honestly, like. <laughs> Straight away, I'm just like I looked at the uh, the setup. I'm like, oh, I'm way out of my depth. 
and then he's just like, hey, how you doing? I'm Ryan. So good meeting you. I am a wife of Millie. And <laughs> <laughs> he called himself a wife. It was so funny. And I left it in the, in the final cut because I was like, I don't know whether Millie's a guy. He's just in a homosexual relationship. I didn't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it turns out that he isn't. He's straight and he's just a dead set legend. Just an idiot. <laughs> Why did you say wife? I don't get it. Like, it's just... Uh, because, no, no, it was a complete accident. It was a complete slip. Because, like, I was... The honest answer was, at that time... Because I'd done a couple of pods up to that... So, I, 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 I said, I've been podcasting for, for numerous years. But I've been... Re like, recently, I tried to rejigger my spiel when I sort of kick in the show. Mm. Or when I'm when being interviewed by someone. Because I did a couple of interviews up until that... Up, uh, just before I did yours. Mm. And I was still tweaking it. I'm like, okay, so Millie's my wife, James is my son, and then, and then my brain went, nah, you have a wife <laughs> and a son. Yeah. And, yeah, <laughs> just kind of like complete flatline for a moment, so that was awesome. But yeah, no, that's pretty much exactly how it went down. So uh, when I started my weight loss journey, because um, I said, uh, I've, I've talked about it before on here, uh, I started in January, but I didn't start doing the shakes until February, uh, sorry, until March, I'm sorry. And when I was I was searching the internet for man shake uh, related content to sort of like get a gauge for it, uh, yeah, and I ended up coming across Ash's channel, and you know he he we were at sort of in similar weight ranges, and uh, there's an like just an energy that I got from his channel that seems like super genuine and like super positive. I'm like, fuck yeah, man! Like so I I jumped in and I was being I was active in the channel because uh, you know for me I wanted to be on that journey. I wanted to sort of share in that. Uh, accountability as well. I thought that was a great part of what Ash does. So for me, I was like, yeah, I'm in that. I want to support that because you were a, this is your first run. So you were at like Nervous. 50 subscribers or something back then. You were at like nothing. So mm -hmm. for me, it was like, hell yeah, I want to I want to show my support because I want to see where this guy goes. I want to be I want to be in every video. I want to be commenting on everything because I want to see this dude be motivated and get to where he wants to be. Aww. Um, yeah, and then. Yeah, and then we ended up, you know, the, the, I heard about the Man Shakers page uh, through you. I joined that. Uh, yeah, and then we've just sort of been bullshit ever since. It's been cool. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I mean, Ryan, he, like, I heard about, you know, from our Thatcher, I learned about what he does and, uh, you know, how he works in mental health, works with children that have, uh, you know, um, social, what, what do you call it, Ryan? Social yeah, so, uh, so difficulties? For, for those that may, may not be aware, yeah. So I, I work uh, in mental a mental health uh, practitioner. I uh, I support youth and young adults who are have who have mental health challenges or on the a or on the autism spectrum. So ASD, including like a ADHD, uh, depression, anxiety, social anxiety, stuff like that. So we use gaming hobbies to assist them in skills building and capacity building to help them uh, understand the world around them, uh, whether it be through social interaction action yeah and things like that. Yeah. and it's it, it's funny like because every time like i load up into a fat chat to meet someone that i've seen on my youtube videos commenting or something like that, i do you know like you know when you see a name and you kind of like you learn the way that they talk and answer you or write their comments you have like a bit of a preconceived conception on what mm. that person is and who they are going to be i thought you're going to be like some punk kid you know like some like some not punk kid <laughs> but like just some like really super enthusiastic like young 20 year old who's just a little bit overweight wanting to lose a bit and I, for some reason i did get the skater punk vibe i don't know what it was but i kind of got that vibe and uh then i was like i really yeah and every time i'm just like blown away by the person that i meet on the fat chat there hasn't been a time where I haven't just gone, oh, this is going to be a bit of a dud, you know? Not at all. Well, I, like, I can only completely understand that. Yeah. So, I, like, I'm actually, like, 31, but my my vernacular, my vocal, my, my, my cadence in how I speak is still very much stuck in the mid-2000s, like, 100%. Like, I still say rad and wicked and dude, and, and the way I type messages or type comments is almost exactly how I speak. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that very... That, like to not have that dissonance between the two uh, um yeah and oh awesome. and android 17 with super chat thanks just want to say you both are absolute legends it, like, absolutely he is um like he is and you know i appreciate the compliment that he gave me and osmoto man they're the same says um when i found ash dead set legend like I look back at those videos, I'm just like, I was so scared. Like, I was so scared to do my journey because I've seen 
fat people get ripped apart like on on the internet so uh it's it's great to you know be at this point steven sings in the house as well how you doing mate hey. really good seeing you um long time um uh a channel member right there um and Stephen Singh, he's another gentleman I did a, uh, a fat chat with as well. Um, I, I, I don't really remember my conceptions about him. I remember like thinking he's super enthusiastic, like in his, all his comments and that. So uh, I reckon he's going to be like real, like in your face kind of enthusiasm. And he was just like the coolest bloke, just so chill. Just like, yeah, man, you know, I've lost a whole, I've lost 60 something kilos. Yeah. I just walk every day, two hours. Got an awesome missus. My name is Tanya. You know, I love her to death. You know, lives in Victoria, been in lockdown, you know, hasn't been able to see his parents all too much or his grandparents. So um, I'm happy that's returning to some, some sort of normalcy for you, man. Um, but yeah, but yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much, uh, Android17, for that super chat. I don't, I don't want to risk clicking anything <laughs> for the sake of losing this uh this stream like <laughs> usually i'll click like some sort of super chat animation but i'm not going to now <laughs> yeah you don't want to push the push the push the machine mm. but no the, yeah it's exactly that and we just happen to like vibe really well like you and i have very similar uh, interests when it comes to uh like pop culture and stuff like that so that's so we click straight away whether it be family guy or south park or just you know other assorted dumb shit um, which has been an absolute blast. We're the same kind of age too. Like, I mean, I'm 33. We've both got kids that are like four. Um, yeah. You know, so we both had that young family kind of uh, vibe thing going, dealing with weight loss. Um, you know, and it's just it's just been really great. This has been really great. And this is why I love having Ryan on uh, with me on chat every so often because, you know, like I, I do Monday man talk with the boys, like the other man bassers, you know, every week, you know, and... I honestly believe Ryan should be in my place because he's just so freaking talented the with his vernacular and the way he talks and his pronunciation of words um, and his energy. Like, I just love you. and uh, But, like, I'm just like, I want to have Ryan on my streams because he is just... What he brings to the table is something else. But oh, Thanks, man. Well, have you had enough fluffing or can we move on? No, nah, fluff, fluff, fluff all you want, man. It's a good time. But, no, I, I do love being Substitute Betson when it, with the Man Talk pod. is good fun. Um sort of like when when when's needed i just mm. fucking saunter on in mm. we gotta we gotta get you we gotta try to get you up for uh the live one the live one. Oh, when the live when the live one happens um whether it be you know you're live in new south wales like we're all gonna i'm gonna be there like if lloyd's hiking up i'm hiking up with lloyd he said i'll MC the night and you guys can all just fucking own the show you know whatever i'll find a way to get involved can it can it be please be like comic con where like we just got like the like yeah, you know, all the chairs lined up, and you're off to the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that's exactly how I had play. And then I'll just run around the crowd. Fucking people can ask questions and shit. Crowd, no. Okay, it's gonna be like two people there: Adam McDougall yeah, no, look, and Jesse. If there's ten people with social distancing, there's a lot of room, so we're gonna have to sprint between people. <laughs> oh, mate, we'll be lucky to have Adam McDougall show off. He's like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not coming into work for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm sitting here like looking at the um, the screen that I got here in front of me in the chat in the background, and I just realized that that background is the microphone that I now have. Like, it quite literally is. Um, oh, it's the blue microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't like that. Isn't planned at all. That's been my background on this chat for ages. I had no idea what kind of microphone it was, but it is literally the exact same one. <laughs> what do you know? Ah, <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> But yeah, so like to to add to that, like Ash is re is, is responsible for uh, I, I I for helping me become a, a ambassador alongside him for uh, for the, for the man shake. So you know, quite a bit, or quite a bit. Ah, yeah, it wasn't just me, man. But uh, um, let's get a bus and get everyone down for a live show. Yeah, well, we are um, planning on doing a live show in the early part of well later part of january i believe it is i'm not 100 sure well, that was the original plan but it would it would come down to interstate travel because with both lloyd and i being here in victoria it would be a little bit difficult for us to get up there if there wasn't a um a big thumbs up you know yeah especially with a new fresh batch of uh covid up for service mm. um from the northern beaches fuck you northern beaches um 
<laughs> Sorry. I love Do you know, know how mad we got at St. Kilda Beach when they just kind of fucked us around with that that one time and essentially brought in stage four lockdown? I'm like, God damn it. What was it? Was that the protest? The um No, no, the protest the protest was like a little bit before that, but then there was just like some Saturday where the St. Kilda Beach, which is a garbage beach to begin with. Why the fuck would you go there? Yeah. Um it's not even a it's not even a beach, it's a bay and it's just dirt and needles. I I went there. Like uh Ant and I went down to Melbourne, um this is like going back years. And we were hanging out, um, you know, just seeing the sights. We well, apparently like there's this old tram that gets around, it's like the tourist tram. Um mm-hmm. apparently you need to pay for that. <laughs> like uh the city circle does so the, the the city circle which is the which is the nice rustic tram, you don't have to, it's freebie. Yeah, but there was a tra- like we were meant to be tra- paying for trams since we got there. We, oh, we yes, never yes. did. Like we honestly didn't. Mean- <laughs> like we didn't know because um, like we in Sydney we didn't have Opal cards that have like you know your credit that you need to scan. We still had the you know the the, the train ticks, the you know the things you put through the the machines and that. Um, and yeah, that was a new thing for you guys. I had no idea about it until the last day we were there. But um, we wound up at St. Kilda Beach. I was like, oh, let's check out what Melbourne beaches look like. We wound up, wound up at St. Kilda of all places. And yuck. <laughs> just... It's not a very good beach. Now, I still, I, when I lived in the city, I used to live in Elwood, which is a suburb right near mm. uh, right near St. Kilda. When I moved when I moved up from, from Country Vic to study. Mm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, St. Kilda's beach is just shit out. Like, I just wasn't too impressed by Melbourne, full stop. Like, I was just like, because when I went there, like, because I didn't really have, we didn't have anyone to really show us around. Like, we went to Crown, but we're, like, going around and taking a look at, like, all the city. And, like, yeah, you know what? Your city layout, much better than Sydney. Like, you got, like. Yeah, the grid. The grid yeah, just everything is just, they, like. Melbourne has. It's so much better than the fucking hot mess that Sydney is. Yeah, Sydney is just, like, no, no right turn here, but you loop back around, go underneath a tunnel and come out on top of a building and then loop through this way. You got to take five left. And you got, like, right. Hot Wheels jump across the road. Like, it's. <laughs> Bizarre. And there's like a corkscrew, and then you know you, you mm. and then you wind up on the Harbour Bridge going out of the city when you were just on the other side of the city. Like yeah, it, it was it's a red hot mess, Sydney. But I wasn't impre- like when I went down to Melbourne. I, I don't want to offend anyone from Melbourne there. I just like I was expecting so much more. But yeah, you know, mind you, we didn't really have anyone to show us around. So like, yeah. yeah, you have to go to certain areas. There are certain things that are appealing. Melbourne itself is kind of blur. But you need to sort of like go with the intention of going to certain locations, whether it be in a Melbourne or even slightly out of Melbourne. Mm. Um, yeah, you need. Yeah. Oh, well, Osmoto Man says that we should both move to Queensland. No. No. Oh, Brett Tomati says the same. Come to Queensland. We are awesome. Oh. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, don't get me wrong. I got family that live up in <laughs> Queensland. And I, I used to spend like at least like two weeks of the year uh, up in Brisbane, um, you know, places like Ascot, Hendra, Ch- Chermside, you know, places like that. Um, went to Gold Coast a few times. Dad schoolies up the Gold Coast. Yeah. Great. Great time. Um, wouldn't live there. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've got uh, I've got family in Maroochydore and uh, Malulaba, I think. They're, they're sort of in the, in the same space. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got, we've got, we go up there occasionally, like once every like fucking decade, it seems. Mm. Um, yeah, and it's always it's always lovely up there. But yeah, no, I, I quite like Victoria. So like, so I'm based out in Geelong, so I'm on like the, the west side of Melbourne, across the bay. Um, but I'm actually from Country Victoria, which is in, in the Trove Valley in the Gippsland area. Uh, so it's even further away again <laughs> mm. uh, from the city. But so yeah, like I've kind of shuffled all around. But yeah, like so it's. Uh, as we're Android 17, the peninsula, pen- pen- peninsula is lovely, but yeah, I'm even more, bit more further in the country that way, uh, which is good. Mm. Well, you know, yeah, but yeah, I, I yeah, it's it's like it's called the Trove Valley because it's literally a fucking hole, like it's just and then we lived in the hole, ah, in the hole, yeah, just. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, look, I mean, I can't really talk. I live in near Penrith in uh, Western Sydney. Now, if you know a little bit about Penrith, it has a stigma, you know, a bit, bit, a bit rough around the gills and that. I honestly believe that stigma has changed. Like the actual demographic of people is changing ever since like 2010 and or tw- 2011 when you know housing started to skyrocket. A lot, a lot of young families have moved out here, but um, it's um. I mean, I used to live down in Northern Beaches. I used to live in D.Y., uh, uh, Brookvale, 
uh, kind of area. I worked at DYRSL, uh, right at the epicenter of like all this, like, you know, um, new COVID uh, outbreak. And I love the Northern beaches, but it's such a freaking bubble. Like, honestly, everyone knows everyone. Six degrees of separation is never more, uh, never more, what's the word? prevalent than what it is on the northern beaches of sydney yeah no. so like, yeah so Taralgon was very similar to that where i grew up like it was it was relatively built up comparatively but it had this ring around it where once you exited that ring you were in the fucking sticks mm. so like there, it was quite a, quite heavily in terms of like heavy pop population density in that area but everyone somehow fucking knew everyone mm. which was really which is really insane so even when i moved to geelong geelong's very similar but a bit bigger mm. and the yeah, it's kind of like that but nowhere near as bad which oh. is nice uber timmy's oh, in, the uber house. Timmy in the house yeah he says oh hey, hey so the same thing yeah. hey, hey bitches hey reptile marty <laughs> it i surprised didn't say hey motherfucker <laughs> yeah that, that's usually how you enter a room isn't it you kick down the door hey motherfuckers <laughs> like I, I don't know like i i just don't like the the word motherfucker like it, just, it doesn't doesn't sound right i love it it's such mouth. a good swear no 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 i i like the c word just slices through the conversation so short yeah sharp it's, like, and... it's such a sh it's yeah it's the sharpness it's the nt sound it's, a, it's the you <laughs> yeah like the is what makes it because it's like and like it fucking rocks I, I don't use it all that often. Like if I'm if I'm really enthusiastic, you know, I'm, I'll probably might drop it. But hey, I'm a big fan of uh, fuck personally. I think it's a good word. It's the most versatile well, word. That... It's one of the only words that is both a noun, adjective, and a verb. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? It 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 is literally a describing word. Uh, it has many meanings. It's, do it's certainly a doing word. Yeah, it is a doing word. But it depends on how you're doing it, who you're doing it with. Uh, Timmy, I'm trying to show you show that message that you um that you, uh, that you wrote. Uh, but my my thing saying error. Try again. He says Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson uh, says it the best, hundred percent. But you like, I mean, for like a very white guy like myself to be saying it just doesn't sound right. Like coming out of me is like ah, oh, you, you motherfucker. You know, <laughs> like it just doesn't. Sound... You put that twang on it. The, the twang. That. <laughs> anyway, uh, nothing about swears. <laughs> Oh, gee. So when do you get back to my Lycra? favorite thing about sweaters <laughs> is when they change the, the like the TV movies in the US, and they're like they. Uh, uh, my favorite one that makes me giggle every time is uh, Die Hard. So they, are, I think they replaced it because they overdub it with the new one, and it was yeah, yippee ki yay, melon farmer. I'm like, oh what <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> It, it, it's funny when um like you know it, all it takes is one person like there was apparently there's some lady um she did um she was writing she wrote a book or, or something like what to expect when expecting and she mm. was the very first person to say on national tv the word penis and this is like in the the mid 90s or like late 90s she was uh on like some morning show and um until that point no one had ever said the word like penis on um national tv and then she said it uh just you know because she's talking about like you know what she talks about that's her profession she, you know, she she talks about what to expect when expecting blah 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 blah, blah and the sex around it all um I'm yeah what to expect when you're expecting fucking penis that's yeah, it yeah right in the hole expect penis <laughs> uh, goes in out in out in out done finished and um yeah so but um so after the take like after the her segment was over she was like all beaming it's like i think that went really well and everyone there is just like 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 kind of when um ron burgundy said and fuck you, Seattle. <laughs> like, um, everyone's like, do you realize what you Don't just fuck said? Yourself, San Diego. Yeah, San Diego. You can't say penis on live TV. <laughs> and then, yeah, apparently she was the first person. It's like that old George Carlin bit, like the seven words you can't say on TV. Oh, how good is George Carlin? I love him. Um, what, like, he, it's a shame he died, but, um, one of my, um, most fond bits of him, like, I mean, other than, like, the movie Dogma and all the other, like, cameos he makes in movies, um, was his um he did a routine about similarities like little moments that we all experience separately but never talk about so like have you ever looked at your watch and then not knowing what the time is and you look at it again and you still don't know someone asks you what time is it you're like i don't know <laughs> and or like you know when you're walking down the stairs and you think there's like one more step and 
you make that step and your hips suddenly are in your chest or like uh, he just does it so well and his the way he talks his gruffness and his just like the the way he emotes his words it just absolutely makes it he was just a brilliant comedian and i, I just wish he was still around at this time like I, rem- I remember the one like similar to yours there's one bit that always made me chuckle and because i never considered it and it's a good observation but it's like the, he was like the one thing that, defi- that defines you know humans from animals is hats you never see animals wearing hats and then he goes on this big side rant about how like animals should wear hats or something like that. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm like, this is fucking awesome. Like, what a dumb bit, and I love it. Uh oh, your video has gone funny again. You're like black and white and red all over. All right, I will uh, leave the call and I'll come back. Oh uh, man, Skype has not been really nice to us tonight. Um, just in general, like, everything isn't going wrong with this live stream. Like, honestly, my laptop is fucking screaming right now it's saying stop doing this to me all these new processes so i was just dancing to the sweet skype yeah dun 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 welcome back um uber timmy asks so what are we talking about right wing conservatism conservatism the gender pay gap hit me with it uh we're talking about what's it like being a paid shaker that's what we're talking about (laughs) (laughs) it's pretty good (laughs) goes right eh? yeah you know uh yeah so when i get when i get my my check every single week um (laughs) it's the best part of my week my sweet man shake pay, my man shake paycheck yeah, yeah it has adam mcdougall's like signature and like uh, he puts lipstick on and kisses the envelope before he sends it <laughs> it's what and it's just like a man shake you open it you open the open the envelope just like a bag of powder <laughs> in the face for a little bit and you're like oh thanks dukes and then you put the cash money. yeah and then and then in the envelope it. <laughs> oh it was my, thank you so much ten dollars mate honestly you you don't you please Honestly, thank you so much, my man. Um, really do appreciate it. Uh, I I am trying to start to use my YouTube funds into a thing to get something that will work. Uh, your laptop is like running 30 PSI on a factory bottom end. Well, on a factory bottom end on a um, RB motor, maybe. Not the JZ. The JZ can handle 30 PSI. Just need to change into ARP head studs before you do that bad boy. But uh, on an RB bottom end, 30 PSI, not so good. We're talking about engines. Sorry, there, Ryan. I think I think I bored Ryan to death, and he's just left. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I think yeah, I think he's just he's completely frozen to death. Um, but yeah, so um, <laughs> Uber Timmy, he says, "Oh yeah, I know about that." Hold on, wait. I think something's happening with Skype. We got the Skype logo. Yeah, I just went. I, I just went to audio only for a little bit to see if that kind of fixes it up for a sec, and then I'll jump back in a video. Ah, beautiful. Well, it's good to have you back, my man. So I, I, I just we're talking about <laughs> engines just a little bit. Um, uh, engines that make cars go forward and backwards on occasion. Oh shit! Well, I, I certainly didn't know about the forwards part. I was a bit unaware about the backwards part. But that's cool. Yeah. Did you know that engines don't actually spin backwards? Um, they actually keep going in the same direction. It's just the clever gears within the gearbox that make it go backwards. No. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people seem to think that the engine stops and goes the opposite direction. <laughs> that's a real thing. People don't honestly don't. think that. Anyway. I have no idea. This stream has gone to shit. <laughs> it's honestly like, ah, <laughs> oh, this tonight has just been so bad. Like, uh, I was wanting to be here at my desk at about eight o'clock so I can spend, you know, half an hour getting set up. I was at my desk at 8.20, right? And I said to Ryan that I would call him at a quarter past eight to start, you know, get him on the stream so I can set everything up, be looking sweet. And now everything's just gone to shit. This is this is take two of the stream, and it's just yeah, terrible. Um, I don't even know whether it's still going. Like my my lives, my my feed over here, my analytics are saying nah. YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers may, and then can't even read it. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, it sounds like your uploads had a bit of an issue today. Yeah, it might just be the internet rather than just the laptop, but the laptop is screaming. Um, anyway, we power on. We power on. But, um, Rob, what are your plans? Like, when are you back at work? Uh, so I'm, I'm back at work as of the 11th. So I, I've still got another, like, two weeks. Oh, you and I got the same time off. Yeah, two weeks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, so the, because I work in sort of in day services, uh, we we get the exact the same time frame as school pretty much with a bit, with a bit different. So we, we still have those term structures. So, yeah, I go back on the 11th. Just cool. A couple of days before our clients return, and then yeah. Mm. Oh, welcome back, Ryan. We can see you now. You're so pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm back on the 11th as well. Um, so, uh, but the, the weird thing is, is that all right. So Aly Alyssa starts big school this year. Uh, her school starts on February 2nd, right? The rest of the mm. school goes back the week before. So usually, how they do it is that. The, the normal like grades one through six will go back on the Monday, the last Monday of January or something like that, usually around that time or like the last couple of days of January. And then the day yep. after would be the all the kindy kids. So the kids who are just starting there for the first time because, you know, they 